Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. So today we are going to discuss about how to create the endpoint security settings from Defender Portal. Previously the Microsoft had this feature like you can create the endpoint security setting from Defender Portal as a preview mode but now uh, Microsoft made uh, this capability as a generally available one. Uh, so now you can manage or create your AV or EDR or other security settings from Defender Portal itself without uh, accessing your uh, GPO, SSEM, Intune or any other configuration tool. Technically you are creating the policy in MDE Portal but in backend actually the policy is getting created in your Intune. You can consider the MD as, a, as your uh, front end and in tune as your backend. So whenever you create any policies in MDE portal, the same policy will automatically get synchronized in your Intune portal. And if you are making any changes in the security policies in Intune portal, the same will get uh, reflected in your, uh, you are able to see those changes in your uh, MDE portal as well. So this method is not only favors the Windows platform, but also the non-Windows platforms like Mac OS or Linux. Uh, for example, uh, to deploy the configuration profiles for a Linux environment, um, there is a need of uh, Ansible, Chef, Puppet or some other deployment tool. Uh, but now uh, with this new capability, you should be able to create the security configuration profiles for your uh, non-Windows platform like Mac OS and Linux in Defender, ports, in Defender Portal itself. So how does uh, this works? So if you check this architecture diagram which I will uh, copy this link in the uh, description section. After you onboard the devices into Microsoft Defender for Endpoint, the device will start reporting to your uh, Intune and at the same time the synthetic registration will be uh, happening uh, between your Intune and the Azure AD. Uh, after that registration is completed, uh, you should be able to create the policies in the portal and you can target uh, the same policy to your uh, Azure AD group. So in order to do this, uh, we have to do a couple of uh, prerequisites, one from the Intune portal and another from the MDE portal, I mean the Defender portal. So let me show you how to uh, make sure the prerequisites is done in Intune portal. So in this Intune portal, you can access the endpoint security section and you can go to Microsoft Defender for Endpoint. Here you have to make sure allow Microsoft Defender for Endpoint to enforce security configuration is turned on. This is the prerequisites that we have to make sure in the Intune portal. And now let's go back to the uh, Defender uh, portal. And here uh, you can uh, go all the way down to the settings section and click on the endpoints and scroll down to configuration management. Then you can click on enforcement scope. So in this enf enforcement scope, we, we have to make sure the MD to enforce security configuration setting from Intune is turned on. Also, uh, you are planning to uh, test this feature in some of uh, devices before you go for uh, uh, the, or, uh, the, the MOS rollout. So in that case, you can uh, only uh, uh, enable this configuration management for TAC devices. If you are going to do that, then you can turn on the uh, on TAC devices uh, option then you are good to go. Also, uh, you can uh, use this security setting management, the new security setting management for your Defender for cloud uh, onboarded devices. For example, if you are running any of your uh, devices in your uh, AWS cloud environment or uh, your uh, Google Cloud platform or even in the on-prem, if any of the server is running and you are trying to uh, onboard those servers and want to manage the policies in the Defender portal, yes, you can do this uh, by turning on this feature. Similarly, uh, you have an option either you can uh, uh, 
for I mean this option is specifically for your SSCM managed devices. Uh, you can decide whether you can use Defender to manage the uh, settings for your uh, devices which are already uh, policies are already managed in uh, using the SSCM or you can uh, you use your SSCM only to manage the policies and then your uh, Defender portal will not uh, take effect if you are applying the policies. So in order to do this you can use uh, this toggle button to turn or off uh, for the uh, SSCM or Microsoft Endpoint Configuration uh, Security Setting Management. So we, we have done with the two prerequisites now. So now let's uh, directly jump into how to uh, create the policies in the portal. So I'm already in the Defender portal. I'm going to uh, click on uh, the Configuration Management section and under configuration management endpoint security policies uh, this endpoint security policies will allow you to create the security policies for your windows linux and mac os so here i am going to create the uh, policy for my win11 and i am going to create the policy uh, edr but you have option of creating your antivirus policy your firewall policy your attack surface reduction rules policy and exclusion policies or, or there, there are multiple options are available but here I am going to choose the uh, endpoint detection and response and I am going to click on uh, create policy and I am going to provide the name and click next and in this configuration settings the list of uh, applicable settings will be loaded here and I want I can choose uh, whatever is required for me uh, so I'm, I have choose uh, my required settings and going to click on next so here uh, I can, I have create, I am creating this policy, I want to target this policy to which group. So I, I already have my Windows 11 group which is created in my uh, Azure AD. Uh, so I am going to target uh, this EDR policy to that specific group and it also gives me how many devices it is going to be uh, targeted and whether the target type is going to be include or exclude. For example, if I want to uh, exclude some devices, then I can choose exclude and add those group as well. Now I'm going to click on next and everything seems to be fine. Then I, all I need to do is click save and now my uh, EDR policy is getting created. So after uh, this policy uh, got created, the policy will be applied to the uh, target machines and, uh, and my devices should be onboarded uh, into the Defender for Endpoint. So now I am going to uh, validate whether my devices has got onboarded. So I am going to uh, assert some device section. Here I am able to see my device which is Win11 Test2. This is the device I have uh, targeted and it is successfully onboarded into my Defender portal. So uh, let me go back to the policy and show something here. So this is the policy we have created just now, the EDR policy. And if I go back to my Intune and, and if I go back to my, uh, go to my uh, endpoint detection and response, the same policy I am able to see here. So as I mentioned, uh, the policy you are creating that will be reflecting here and the policy you are going to create here that will also will reflect in your portal. So now I am going to create the uh, uh, for example the AV policies let's create the AV policy and target to the uh, same group um, I'm going to choose the template as uh, template as a Microsoft Defender Antivirus I'm going to click on create policy and provide some name next and I'm going to uh, choose some settings and then I will uh, target this policy to the my uh, test workstation. So I am going to allow the beha behavior monitoring here. I am going to allow the cloud protection and I am going to allow the real time monitoring and let us keep the cloud block level as high plus and network protection is in block mode. Okay, since it is a demo I am not going to uh, focus more on settings. I am going to click on next uh, the same thing whatever we have done with the uh, EDR the same way 
we will be targeting this uh, AV policy to my Windows 11 group and I am going to click next and save that's it so now we have created the policy in the uh, Defender portal this is the your Microsoft Defender for uh, uh, I mean Defender antivirus policy we have created and let me go back to uh, my uh, Intune portal so if I do uh, the uh, refresh I should be able to see my policy here now so uh, for example you want to edit this policy let me click on this policy here and I'm going to want to edit some different settings here I'm going to uh, expand the setting uh, let's say uh, let me uh, allow the script scanning here just for a testing so I'm going to make this change I'm going to save this policy in my Intune and the same policy should be uh, applied on my uh, Defender portal as well so if I'm going to the Intune uh, I mean the Defender portal here uh, I can locate my uh, Defender AV policy and I can validate my uh, policy setting values here and if I go uh, go to the tab and it will give, give me what are the options I have enabled so if you see here allow script scanning is allowed so the settings now we have validated the settings got both applied uh, on Intune as well as on my uh, Defender portal.